on earth can we live together? And I ask myself that question because every single day there are more of us. Every single day there's 100 million acts of sexual intercourse. 374,000 of us are born. 170,000 of us die. That means that every evening, 205,000 more people sit down for supper than had breakfast this morning. That's the equivalent of adding a city the size of New York to our planet every single month. We live in a resource-constrained world. If we are not to become defined by that lack of resource, we need to tread more lightly on this earth of ours. Capitalism may have caused many of the problems that's brought us to where we are today, but I firmly believe that capitalism is one of the solutions and probably the only tool strong enough to get us out of what we're doing. We need to start engineering and defining and building a better future. And we need to start doing it now. It's as if we're heading towards a waterfall of catastrophe. We can hear the sound and the roar of the water. We can see the mist coming up. But until we see the bubbling water, we do nothing about it at which point it's too late. We spent the last era defined it as the Industrial Revolution. It is now firmly over. We have started the Sustainability Revolution. And during that revolution, and it is a revolution, extraordinary things are happening. I've invested in some amazing businesses around the world that are busy what I call repairing the future. I want to tell you about just one of these today. It's a company called Oxitech that sells and exports a quarter of a billion mosquitoes a year, from Oxford in the UK to 11 countries around the world. These mosquitoes are very unusual. They are the singular type that carries something called dengue fever. These mosquitoes have been given two very clever additives. The first is a gene that stains their protein, their meat, red under ultraviolet light, in order that when you're trapping them in the wild, you can see which ones are ours and which ones are nature's. The male mosquito, because we only sell male mosquitoes, has two copies of another gene. That gene renders his female offspring dead at birth, because it is only females of the mosquito species that can bite. Males live outside, females live in your sock drawer. What we do in countries like Brazil and other places where dengue fever is rife, because this is the mosquito that carries dengue fever, is trucks go along the streets emitting huge clouds of poisonous gases in order to kill the mosquitoes. What they do is kill everything in the street, but they don't really get to the mosquitoes in your house. When we release our males, instead of destroying the entire ecosystem, the ants, the butterflies, and everything else, they go and they mate. One of our males mates with a wild female. They have a boy and a girl. The girl will die. The boy will survive, but now only has one copy of the gene. That boy will then go and mate again. If they have a girl, the girl will die, and with it, the gene. The one thing you cannot inherit is sterility, because if your parents were sterile, you would never have been born. So, <laughs> so instead of destroying whole ecosystems, we take out the singular pest that affects them. This same team has just finished the genome of the cotton bollworm. The cotton bollworm is the predominant pest that attacks our cotton fields, that allows us to have the t-shirts we do, and the clothes that we wear. These cotton bollworms sit on the underside of leaves, which is why they fill cotton fields full of pesticides, so that as the pesticide billows up, it gets the insect that they're after, the cotton bollworm. Now, instead of feeling those fields with uh, huge clouds of pesticides and killing everything in sight and all the ecosystems which we know are so valuable, instead, we focus on taking out that singular pest and leave everything else intact. This business is going on to develop pest after pest. And instead of taking on uh, a problem that we have, we can instead just get on and take out the singular pest that attacks them. Our competition is the pesticide businesses. And of the two, with no question which I'd rather have, a pest and a sterile pest control program or filling your fields full of insecticides. So everywhere I look around the world, from this mosquito business to the dozens of other businesses that I've invested in fixing the future, I remain an optimist. I will always be a capitalist, and I think that in the sustainability revolution, the old wars between capitalists and environmentalists are over, and together we have a future. Let's get busy repairing it. Thank you for listening.